Hello, hello. So, I know, I am laying on my bathroom floor, right? Super weird, but not really. I brought you down here with me because I wanna show you this tile floor. So, yes, it is a gray tile, but it wasn't always gray tile. Nope, this was a really ugly cream tile that had kind of like hints of pink throughout it. And I absolutely couldn't stand it, wanted it gone, but with future plans to totally gut out our closet and bathroom, I did not want to waste the time or money ripping this floor out right now. So instead, I did one of my most favorite things in the world. I painted it. Yes, you can paint tile. You can paint tile floors. You can even paint sinks and tubs and all kinds of stuff. If you use the right process, the right paint, sometimes it's different enamels, it's different types of paints, but most things can get a nice little facelift for the cheap cheap with paint. So I am finally going to share the process of how I painted this floor with you guys. It's the same process that I use to paint the tub over here um, or the tile around the tub and the tile that wraps on the wall too. So I'm so excited for this one. And um, it's uh, a couple day process, you know, there, there's dry time to it, there's some sanding to it, but oh my goodness, these floors are holding up so well and we absolutely love them. So check this out. Okay, so I am finally gonna be getting at these floors. Um, well, actually tomorrow I am. I went ahead and cleaned them and I have everything prepped because I'm going to be sanding. I just wanted to make sure dust doesn't collect on everything because it really is easy for it to kick up, um, especially when you're sanding tile. So I made sure I just sealed off our closet plus the tile goes right along the carpet there. So I want to make sure I have that done. Um, I really only taped off around the tub that I just painted and the base of the cabinet where I painted because I have decided I am going to paint all of the rest of the woodwork white and since I am painting the floor gray um, I just didn't want to I figured it's easier to, to kind of clean it off and go over the gray than the other way around um, so yeah everything is set So here it is. The primer is finished up. The process so far was vacuum clean sand, vacuum clean prime. And now I'm moving on to the top coat. I went ahead with a bare paint and it is Grant Gray. Let me get this up here. I love this color. It's going to have kind of a concrete look. So there it is. The light in here makes it a little yellowy. But yeah, so time to put on the top coats.
Okay guys, so here was the color of the primer and oh my goodness, I am in love with this. I'm only starting the first coat obviously, but this is what the top coat is going to be. So it is going to look more of a concrete, but just look at that. Look at that color. Oh my goodness. I love it so much. And today we are moving on to the polyurethane top coats. So these are just going to add that like just nail hard finish the coat um, over the paints. The paints are already designed to have a pretty solid finish, but this, especially any type of a high traffic area, I really recommend using polyurethane on banister railings, on um, window trim, baseboards, anything that um, might be exposed to different elements or get a lot of usage. So when you are putting this on, do not worry. It is going to look a lot lighter once you put it on and you're almost going to feel like it just faded the color. Um, or adult, this is a little bit drier here. This hasn't been done yet. And you can see you almost start to worry. It's going to stay this color. It's not, it dries completely clear. The other great thing with the polyurethane that is water-based, um, it will not yellow. It is oil-based that will yellow over time. So don't worry. Um, if you did the latex paint, um, you're going to go ahead and use the water-based polyurethane and it will not yellow. Having said that, if you end up and you don't get your, you know, creases here really cleared out and leveled good, you could get a thicker buildup in there and that can yellow over time. But as long as it's a nice even coat, um, you'll be good. So I've got this much done and the other two-thirds to go.